Blog Talk Radio. Yo, yo, what's banging, man? This your boy Nutso. Mr. Get With It and Get Your Face Knitted. Reppin' that Q Burrow, nigga. Flushing Queens, man. I'm out here with my motherfucking family. You already know what it is when you hear that. Who hey? Yeah, nigga. Screwball Radio with Black Poet and King Eric. Comment, what up? This is what we do, man. Nutso, Queen. Was brangin', nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Life Liggy Long. Live from the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. So keeping the vibes right. You know what I'm saying? We got Screwball Radio with your man King Eric, Black Poet. Shout out my man Comet. You know how we do. You know what I mean? Screwball Radio. Get in tune, baby. We out here. Let's go. Screwball. Yeah, what up, man? It's your boy Common, man, man, Screwball Capo, and I'm here on Screwball Radio with my brother, Black Poet, and King Eric. You know what it is? Escape the drippiest of Screwball. I'm here with the wildest and the grimiest, King Eric and Black Poet at Screwball Radio. Oh, yeah. Shout out my big bros for life. Ty Nitty, Kyron, Common, Bronchet. Rest easy, KL Hostel. Who is What's hood good with y'all? This your big homie, prodigy hood from the South Central Cartel. I'm tapping in with the homies, Black Boy and Eric Mossberg at Screwball Radio. Bang that. What's up? This is Prince Powell Rule, a.k.a. Marcano from The Leftovers. And you're listening to Screwball Radio with my man Black Poet and King Eric. Who <laughs> has... Yeah. What it is, what it is, y'all. This your player partner, the legendary cocaine. And look, I want to give big ups to my East Coast family. Shout out to Screwball Radio, you dig? Man, big ups to Common, Black, Poet, and my nephew, Eric Mossberg. That's what it is, Screwball Radio, Buddy Boy, the legendary cocaine. We on that monkey with a funky campaign, you heard? Man, keep it wiggling. And you know we had to debut this on Halloween because this show here is going to be scary for all you fake, skinny jean, lip gloss wearing rappers, and uptight culture vultures. We want to officially welcome y'all to the newest raw hip-hop show, Screwball Radio, and I'm your host, King Eric, a.k.a. Eric Mossberg. You've probably seen or heard me on many platforms, most notably Off the Cuff Radio on Friday nights. But this show here is something special. We've been putting in the works into making this one kind of platform to not only showcase the raw hip-hop, but to showcase the talents and contributions of my co-hosts. This show isn't about me. It's about this man right here, possibly one of the rawest MCs to come through in the golden era, a dude who for 30-plus years has been holding it down for Queensbridge. And with the crew, Screwball earned so much respect throughout the industry and the entire world. So without further ado, making his official radio debut in the Screwball Radio, let's welcome my man, the big homie, Black Poet, y'all. What, 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 here we here. Yo, we in the that's my building, word. Y'all. Shout out to everybody. The Screwball Radio shit is here. We on point. We're going to bring that new shit to y'all. We're going to be talking about everything here. You heard? We're going to be playing that raw shit. We're going to be playing yes. that new shit, old shit, whatever comes to mind. We're going to play that shit. You heard? We're going to start this shit off, man. Eat, man. Smash them straight up and down. Hit them with some music, and we're going to come back and talk about some shit. Yes, indeed, man. I'm going to hit the, hit the let people know what's going down. I'm going to get people a taste of the screwball with because we're going to be talking about that Y2K album, 20 years later, how much of an impact Oh, yeah, we're going to get into this shit, homie. We're going to get into this shit, homie. We're going to get into this shit. What we're going to do, we're going to play a single We're going to spark it. Mm-hmm. Spark it off, homie. We're going to play. Number music right. and talk. We're going to come this back and we're going to kick it with y'all. It's, it's called Hostile. Rest in peace to the legend. Rest in peace, Hostile. Screwball Radio, we here. Yeah. 
back in the days when the people were fresh. It was one and MC who had to pass the test. He was down by law and he's ready to play. That's right, y'all. Time style. Yo, yo, yo. Woke up in the morning and my age was parked. Turn on the boom boom, saw the me and man Mars. The cops in D.C. had to play scan. Got a one of my plans looking at recording the friend. Answer my pants, so I danced to the door. Picked up the key, caught a telephone call. She yelling phones in my town phone. I'm not going to touch when rubber can't rise up. All I'm hearing is fly buzz. Hung up, lighted some butter. Food tight in my gutter. Got it love up to those hungry with holes in their clothes. Bitch niggas throwing weak shit in the game. On the street, smoke, throw a leaf on the heat. Now that shit is out. 
That shit is like out. Schoolboy put that shit out. Schoolboy put the bridge out. Niggas don't even know how that shit came out. Next, you know, Marley's hearing that shit on the radios in the hood. Niggas is like, he's like, how the fuck niggas get this? And since he played on the radio, he was gonna play it on the radio show anyway for uh, Queensbridge Day. You know what I'm saying? He was just gonna play it on the radio. But it came out before that Schoolboy got his hands on that shit and gave niggas copies. And that shit hit the street. <laughs> Molly still to this day don't even know how that shit got out. And that's how that shit got out. Because my nigga Frito stole a tape from Molly Craig and gave that shit to schoolboy. <laughs> Word. And that's just, niggas don't even know about how that fucking shit hit the street. But that's the story of how schoolboy has got that fucking the bridge popping. That's on the bridge popping. And niggas don't even know about that. But, but now they do. But what's good, E man? What's good on your end over there, man? Huh? Man, I'm just I'm excited and ecstatic of the fact that we finally got this show on the road, man. Cause it's gonna oh no doubt, man. Cause you know once you stuck to me with the idea, I mean it was your idea. It's my show, but it's your idea. You know you my co-host, my homie. Let's get that right, homie. You my co-host, yo. You got your show, my nigga. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. That's you what I was saying at the beginning. Show, I'm saying. Nigga. Nah, this ain't about but me, yo, it's about you. Yo, because me and Common was talking earlier, Common reminded me, shout out to my nigga Comet the Capo. He reminded me, oh, remember, you, you had the idea you wanted to start rating niggas' albums and do your radio show and shit. I was like, yeah, I definitely wanted to do that, but I never put it into effect. But when you came to me, yo, you need to do that screwball radio shit, man. I want to help you do this shit. I was like, all right, bet. So you came right on time, my nigga, man. Much love, my nigga. Let's do this shit. We're going to hit him with that raw hip-hop. And and the ill shit is, this shit is for the world, my nigga. This shit is for the world. Europe, yes, Japan, China, if they can get Russia, wherever y'all can get motherfucking internet, y'all can get us, man. This is for y'all, man. We, You know what I'm saying? God damn it, we wallowed in the pandemic. <laughs> you heard? You ain't lying. And see, I was trying to tell you, man, at the end of the day, I'm pipping in you, Jordan. That's the that's the way I told folks. I mean, I got my stat, I got my platform. This is this is this is screwball. I'm a part of this movement here. And I'm the Yeah, I'm man, yeah, man. Much, man. Much love, man. Much love to you, man. And I always wanted to do this type of shit ever since I've been watching Molly Mall and Mr. Magic. Much rest in peace, Mr. Magic, man. That was my motherfucking mentor when it comes to this hip hop shit too, you know. That was one of my mentors, man, Word. That was my nigga, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, and I watched how they I watched how they do this did this shit in WBLS back in the days. You know what I'm saying? It was a little room, yo. It was a fucking little tiny fucking room, a turntable, mad fucking tapes and CD. All not even no CDs, just tapes all around them niggas. And the little fucking turntable. Uh, uh, Molly got a turntable set up and Magic right there. Got the fuck on the mic. It's crazy. <laughs> And I, I loved that shit. I always loved how that shit was, you know what I'm saying? So I always wanted to do some shit like this. So we're going to bang out, my nigga. And we're going to talk about a whole bunch of subjects, you know what I'm saying? For everybody that's listening right now, thank y'all. And whoever not, spread the word. You know what I'm saying, Eric? King, Mossberg. My nigga comments on deck. Screwball, yes, we deep. And we're going to keep hanging out with some joints, man. What else we got for these niggas right now, man? What you got on deck, man? Yeah, Bang something for these we niggas, gonna, man. We're going we gonna to hit them with this one here now. With this joint here, this actually introduced me to y'all. I'm going to tell a little brief story about this joint here. This joint here, because we all hate Louis Giuliani. I wasn't really a knowing, uh, aligned with what was going on in New York City until you guys put this joint out here. And I... Heard a lot of the bad stories about it from my people that stayed out there about this guy being the scum of the earth. And y'all were the first to address this guy on this track here that we're about to play called Who Shot Rudy? And when we get back, we're going to break <laughs> down the controversy behind that. No doubt, man. Hit him with that shit, man. Shout out, Kyron. Yes, sir. We in it. If you see. <laughs> yeah, school ball shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, yo. Little something for that snake ass, slimy ass, devil ass motherfucker out there. Listen to this. You suck on it, bitch. Nah, I mean, school ball shit. What? What? Yeah. Check, 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 check it out, yo. 
Hell. Hey, yo, who shot Grooty in broad daylight to cash? I woke up this morning and heard the news flash. They said it happened down the city hall. He had his wife with him. Five shots from the crowd made him fall. It was chaos to pandemonium. Blood covered up the podium. Covered his face and wouldn't show me him. I had to see if it was true. Secret service was mad nervous. So was the boys in blue. Scattering like rats and gnats with the lights on. Manhunt the suspect all night long. Interrupted episode. Every channel sold. Block Debbie Road, Jake the right again, black smiling head in, supporters crying out in the street. You ain't one of ain't dead off, somebody blew his head off and faded out. Commission alive on Channel 5 when they announced his death. Wifey was stressed, she was right there. She said that it was like a nightmare. One time, was home in the street, had the whole force on the beat. Crying and causing on feet, the deeds came through, stomping. Ghetto birds had the project, looking like Compton with marksmen with 30 I'm in my room smoking boom, playing Nintendo. High off the endo. Who shot Rudy? Your house, rich house, poor house. You be the shining, Brooklyn, Long Island. We extra money making. Why yo a new world? The new Chicago. Who shot Rudy? From poor house to your house, rich house, poor house. You be the shining, Brooklyn, Long Island. We extra money making. Why yo a new world? The new Chicago. Who shot Rudy? They speculated it was mob related. Every wise guy with mafia ties interrogated for lies. Every king in Yedda had the linguistics, snatching their gas for ballistics. The next first statistics was drawn out. Gang unit was all worn out. Investigating his body and everybody else. Whoever gave a threat made bets to wages. Cash donated from the campaign stages. Cab robbers with Frank business who protested. Was roughed up like Abner, getting brutal molested. Sharp lawyers still pressed it. Double breasted reporters with Marvin Jordan and other mornings. Pushing cameras away, blocking the sights. Had the right spot in Washington Heights. Into the airport, stopping flights. Niggas was tight, cause they couldn't sell a dime all night. But that was all right, the devil died and nobody cried. They was thrilled like some Jews celebrating when the Pharaoh got killed. Glasses of Henny were filled and we got twisted. Smoking blunts on the corner like we used to, cause we missed it. Knowing he was going for good, death stinking. It got me thinking, hey yo, where the fuck thinking? In Harlem World, Shaolin, or Brownsville. It's sharp in the Tarakon, making shit real. Was it Khalil? You know we keep man still. Did the bloods on the crib? Smoke Rudy on the hill, who shot Rudy? Your house, your house, your house, your house. I remember when you first came in this That was very 
that was some new energy that needed because at that time rap was suffering through some of that floss ish. Like, that's all niggas was rapping about. Y'all came through, kicking them doors down with that hardcore shit. It was needed. It was like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga was just uh, venting, man, you know? I, it took me by surprise because, you know, there ain't no, I wasn't going down that route. That nigga just came over and laid that shit down. I was like, wow. You know, he went down the political route. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. <laughs> and you, well, and that record, though. Yeah, because I heard, I remember when I first heard that record when, I looked on the source. The source was previewing a lot of albums at that time, and I didn't really get familiar with you guys like that until that record came out, and that took off like a firestorm. And I was like, yo, who are these dudes, man? They they got Giuliani, man? I'm about to, I'm about to see what these guys are all about. So yeah, man. We y'all, y'all about... Yeah, man. We made noise with that shit. Niggas can't <laughs> fuck with it, man, you know. That's when New York was a whole different New York. <laughs> For real. That was a whole different New York. Niggas was wilding in New York. Shout out to Queensbridge, everybody in the hood. Whoever's listening. I don't care where y'all listening from. Let me know you listening to. Hit me on the book, Black yeah. Valley the Dumb. Hit me on Facebook, Black Poet. Man. Hit hey, comment. Hey, now, hey, Poet, we have no, no, we going to be taking any shout outs on here? Like, you know, we got some callers on the line. Oh, no doubt, homie. Holler. Tell them niggas. Just yeah, holler with us, man. Cool. We got a 757 on the line. King, Black and Valley, what it do, man? Y'all know it's T-Max with the facts from VA, two up, two down, one hat, one fourth of off the cuff radio, man. Got to come in and show love to y'all inaugural, incredible, you know, super show, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Thanks for the love, man. Thanks for the love, man. And let niggas know, man. Spread the word, man. We trying to make this shit go crazy, you heard? Yeah, man, and great, 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 de- yeah, yeah, great detail on uh how that song happened, man. You know, like y'all said, you know, New York was like a whole different type of energy back then. I mean, especially you know QB, y'all, know, y'all was making all types of ruckus back then. I mean, shout out to Trash, Cormega, y'all, Mob G, you know what I'm saying? Everybody out there, forty first side north, forty first side, everybody, man. Yeah, man, shout out to Mob. 41st side, north side, south side. Word, man. You know your history, I see, homie. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call T Max with a fact. He come with the T-Mac. fact. That's what's up, homie, man. Good looking. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, man, let's get yeah, up to man, some next joints from our nigga. And we previewing this record eat? here. And that's, this record here? One of my favorite records here, it was done by the legendary DJ Premier. And Premier was hitting it hard at the time, but he's still doing it now. But this record here was so mind-blowing, man. Called Seen It All. Shout out to Primo. That's my done for life, Premier. Primo, you heard? And when we come back, we're going to get the story behind that. Prem, if you want to get on the show sometime, let us know, man. We live and direct. So this is Screwball, seen it all from the UI 2K album. And when we come back, we're going to come with a discussion about that. Drop that shit, homie. Let's go. Basically over. Basically over. Girl screaming, I told you about those over the shoulder bosses that you be having. Niggas smiling your face behind your back, they backstabbing, laughing, talking about all your business. How much you got to score with, to niggas you went to war with, how many guns you got. And when you go to cop, you should have seen it coming down the block. You was getting hot, but you didn't give a fuck. You make a G in a day and spend it up, and the black bins pin it up. Pounds of weed twisted up, and he pouring out your cup, living it up. Daddy walk up stab. I watch niggas rise, I watch niggas fall.
phase it, I've corroded. I slash you with it, cause every rhyme is crime committed. I speak it cause I did it before I got on. I dub niggas' moms up till they first born, till they only child. You pull my car, you'll get a wild one. I'm at the bottom of the struggle, trying to rise on a wise one. Step ahead, keep my fan fed. Broke bread off this game, and I held my head. You want details? Then let's negotiate. Crack sales, new guns and spots to gain. Clientele, yo, we rock well. We keep our name ringing bells from this right to the street light. We doing this right. See, we sworn to these streets to vibe and draw heat. Fuck a piece, gotta waste some time. Respect my nine. Yeah, man, you know, the feds got involved. 
with that with all that fucking mixtape shit too, man. The feds was on niggas too with that mixtape shit. So yeah, the DJ drama. We gonna talk. Yeah, a lot of that shit, man. A lot of niggas was gonna have problems with the niggas, man, because the mixtape shit, man. Record labels was fronting. Record labels was uh, shitting on niggas, man. Yeah, labels. They, they was like, yo, we want our cut too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was telling. <laughs> DJ, the DJ niggas was eating good. They were, they were buying Benzes. <laughs> They were buying Benzes and all. Record labels was fronting too. They was telling on niggas, but at the same time, they was leaking joints, giving it to niggas. How you telling on niggas, but you giving niggas exclusive shit? And, and talking about, oh, you don't know how I got out there. Nigga, you gave it to niggas. Or the artists themselves. That's the oldest lie. That's like the oh, oldest lie they tell the, the, the artists themselves be giving away their shit. You know what I'm saying? The artists be giving away their shit. Like, hey, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the game is crazy. The game is crazy. Especially hip hop, man. Oh, yeah, man. It's a bipolar business. And, it's, and you know, it's, and, and it stinks and it eats a lot of people alive. But with you, you last to do all that shit, man. And you started putting out solo projects with, with just like. You know what I call it? See, a lot of people in hip hop, they call it bangers. I call it ham and eggs. And them joints like you did, like with Black, the Black Print with Premier, DJ, DJ Screw, man, you still kept it heavy in the underground. It's like, and you kept on evolving. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep doing me. I'm going to keep doing yeah, me. I'm going to keep hitting like, me. You know, when you was going through a solo, like you were becoming a solo cat, what were some of the challenges that you had? What you mean? What you mean? Challenges? Ain't no challenges. Okay. This shit is this shit is in the blood, homie. <laughs> Let him go. Let him go. This shit is in the blood, homie, man. It's, ain't no challenges in the shit, man. If you live this shit, you about this shit, or you not? Let him know, man. But yeah, we live and direct the first episode of Screwball Radio. Celebrate the 20 year anniversary of Y2K. I'm King Eric the Great, Eric A. Eric Mossberg, alongside with the legendary Black Poet. Call number is one five one six five three one nine five nine six. We playing the dope joints. We chopping it up about the twenty year anniversary of Y two K. Where this hip hop game is going. And whatever y'all want to chop it up with, the call number's there. Yes, sir. We on deck, homie. Who man? Bang out that next joint for me. We gotta keep hitting them with some joints. Heck yeah. I might have, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of ill new story. I gotta tell these niggas man right now. I got another hip hop story, to tell niggas man. Yeah, we gonna we gonna hit them with one more from the um the Y two K album. And after that, y'all gonna have to take y'all asses to Amazon, pay that ninety dollars if it's there, cause you know they charging albums crazy fees now. But we need our cut right now. If y'all gonna if you gonna charge that ninety dollars Amazon, I'm letting y'all know. So this joint here is Screwball Urban Warfare. This joint went hard. I 
Wow. Oh, he threw the cheap shot out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that was a jaw tap right there, man. That was a jaw tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comic going to be coming man. in. We're going to be talking about sports and, 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 and bitch-ass niggas and, 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 and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, Bobby, man, man, what you doing tonight, homie? Man, just just laying back, just listening to y'all talk, the history, rest in peace, school ball, rest in peace, hostile, rest in peace, Kenny Lou. Yeah, Shout man, it's so real, man, Bobby, man, man, you know. You know? You know, you know, you know, Comet, man. Comet is like, Comet is the new addition of the crew, man. You know, he's been down over motherfucking damn near 10 years, but he's still like the new addition of the crew, you heard? And he put that work in. That's why I call him the capo, because that nigga been keeping his fucking screwball shit alive behind the scenes like y'all niggas wouldn't believe. You heard? So Pushing that line heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, heavy, yeah. Heavy. I, I will let niggas know, man. Comet is definitely... Screwball official tissue to the death. You heard? And, and he's been helping keeping this shit alive for a lot of years, man, ever since he's been down. So fuck everybody, man. <laughs> Word up, comment, man. Thank you, man. I want to say thank you to man from the bottom of my heart, my nigga. For real. Oh, I already know, you know. Got your back, you know. <laughs> I'm pushing that screwball for a while, you know. Fucking right, what everybody man. else doing. We be in our own little world. Everything screws up. We don't really care about yeah, nobody, man. Like nobody I else doing. Like know? I try to tell niggas, man, if you don't like how the game is being played, change the game. And we here to change the game with fucking screwball radio. We need niggas to fucking spread the word. Get on Facebook. Get on Instagram. Spread the word. Tell niggas, man, we playing them joints. Everything ain't going to all be about screwball it's about hip hop. You heard real shit. Yeah, keep the culture going. Keep keep that real hip hop going. Ain't nothing watered down. You know. You know. Uh, you know. No disrespect to the other kind of music, the drill music, everything that's that's moving right now. No disrespect to that, but you know, there's the raw core essence of it. You know, and I'm proud to be part of school ball. You know, and you know, I just keep it hardcore. Keep keep giving them that boom bap. You know. That's my lifestyle right there. Boom, bap. I ain't into none, none of that other, other shit. Bap. You know, for everybody out there, you know, Poe dropped that new album, Simon Phoenix, top of the year. Simon March, Phoenix. It's still out there. Go get that. Ain't nothing but hardcore on there. You know, shout out the black one for all the production on there. You know. <laughs> shout out E-Rex. You know. Ain't nothing but heat on there. And, you know. I'll, I'll be yeah, shout out E-Rex, man. man, for helping mix this shit down, man. He really took a lot of time right. out and, you know, comment too and, 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 and help get this shit sounding good, man. Niggas got to go listen to that shit, man, and really listen to that shit, man. The year's almost out. Listen to Simon Phoenix, man. Yeah, yeah, Bronche on the line, too, if you could tap him in. But, yeah, you know, sir, I'm, a, I'm, yeah. a, I'm about to tap him in. Yeah, we about to tap him in now. 646, six, you on the line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. That's my thing. Yo, yo. Yo, what up? Who had, nigga? Paul, what up, nigga? What is banging? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is banging? Who I got a punch in the face, nigga? Who got to get their pockets ran right now, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> who got to get their pockets ran right now, nigga? Who got to get their pockets ran right now, nigga? Who got to get their shit ran right now, nigga? Who got to get their shit ran right now, nigga? Who got to get their shit Extortion. We extorting niggas, man. We extorting the game. Broad shit on the check-in. What up, (laughs) son? Where you at? I'm just talking. I'm talking shit. You know what I mean? But, yeah. I was called to tap in and everything. I've been online the whole time and shit, man, listening, B. You know what I'm saying? It's just an honor to be a part of the family, B. Yeah, you know you part of the family, nigga. Man. For real, for real. Broad shit. We got some shit out right now. Yo, Poet was the first nigga I ever seen shoot a video. I swear to God, I was like four years old, four or five years old. Nigga was shooting on, <laughs> he was shooting on flipping. And my brother, Ooh. my brother Fudd, he had me on his shoulders and shit. I think my grandmother made the nigga take me somewhere. We couldn't stay for the whole video shoot, but we was Ooh. out there, nigga. Like, Poe was Ooh. the first nigga I ever seen shoot a video, man. <laughs> 
Word up. If niggas don't know, man, nigga Brown Shade, he got some shit out right now, me and him, called Flames. It's out there right now. Niggas can cop that shit, too. We're going to be playing that shit later on, too, later on in the next couple of future shows. Put niggas on to Brown no Shade and no. shit. But yeah, man, yeah. son, man, you know, I've been doing this shit for a long time, man, and yeah, since you was a baby, oh my God, I'm an old man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, but you know, it, it's, it's around the, the MC Shan errors and all that shit when y'all was out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, Po was holding it down, like, on some raw shit. Like, as I got older and I started looking back at everything, I'm like, yo, this nigga Poe was just beasting on King Kong and all these niggas. You know what I mean? Yeah, Everybody well, was coming out tap dancing. Niggas came out tap dancing, playing with these, these, these Bronx niggas and shit. Poe was keeping it crazy on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. So that's, that's the difference with, with Poe and, and a lot of these other niggas. You know what I'm saying? So he, he's been raw his whole fucking life. You know what I mean? <laughs> then when um the, the Y2K album dropped, the thing, I was like 14, 15, nigga. That shit dropped. I was mad. Hey, I seen niggas in the fucking... Um, in the helicopter, I was like, I know Ooh. that nigga. <laughs> I'm like, See, that's that nigga. <laughs> My big brother right there, yo. You crazy? Word up, yo. Word is cool, man. I mean, we was in the helicopter too, yo. We was flying the helicopter around Roosevelt Island, yo, because we we had the whole stage built on Roosevelt Island, the whole performance stage and wow. shit. Wow. And the whole hood was over there. We was wild. We had food. Everything over there, the whole hood was over there, Roosevelt Allen by the heliport. And we fucking had the fucking uh, helicopter land. We got, I ain't know he's going to go in that shit and go up. Now, fucking nigga flying off and shit. I'm like, yo. I'm high as a motherfucker, drunk, crazy. This nigga go way up. We over the bridge flying around and shit. I'm like, yo, this nigga got us all over the fucking, fucking, the 59th Street Bridge, yo. I'm looking at that shit from the helicopter. I'm like, yo, now he want to fucking do tricks and shit. Hey, hold on and all. I'm like, yo, nah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> nigga trying oh, to fucking shit. impress niggas. Nah. Chill, yo. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Cool. But that shit was ill. That shit is wild. The motherfucker was trying yo. to do tricks and shit, so I'm trying to impress niggas. Nah, don't impress me in that fucking helicopter. You ain't gonna crash me in the fucking East River. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> but yeah, have bad fun. Yo, though, comment. What up, up nigga? Uh, we're bombing. Bombing, bombing. You still there, bombing? Yeah, he's still yeah, alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm here. What? Stop being quiet in the corner, nigga. Don't fuck the motherfucking bitch ass Yankee. Nah. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. He's trying to still talk about the Yankees, yeah, man. But man, yo. Yeah, man, because we're going to talk sports too, man. We talk everything. Then we're going to get back to some music, man. But, you know. Yo, chill, man. Piece, but, but, <laughs> but, the, but hold up. But hold up. The Yankees was in the postseason. Yeah, my mess gonna be there. Be way. <laughs> we ain't talking about them right now. Comedy gonna let that shit go. We ain't talking about them. I see. I see them when they get there. I see them when they get there. We ain't talking about the Mets right now. We ain't talking about. Them. <laughs> 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 the them niggas is horrible, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. The Mets ain't won the fucking championship since I've been alive, nigga. Like I can't yo, fuck with them. Yo. So, I think we're doing the Bill Strawberry Day. They won a championship. Yo, I was I was ten years old. I wasn't when born. They won the, I, yo, I was ten years old when they won the World Series. Ten. Damn. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I was the Jordans. Yo, I wasn't even born. The first, yo, the first pair of Jordans came out. Damn. Don't so, worry. Well, we got a new owner. Oh, wait, we got a new been born. It's all Somebody good, man. It's all good. We got a new owner. We're going to make moves. We got a new owner. But, yeah, we ain't talking about the mess, man. Yo, hey, what you got? We got to play some more music, man. Fuck that. You got me mad. Right? Oh, yeah. You know what? Hey, you know what? <laughs> Check this out here. Check this out here. <laughs> going back to hip-hop. Going back to hip-hop. I want to see well, well, my man, man. Buster Rhymes for dropping a banging-ass album. 
That EO oh, bust the bus, bust the bus, keeping that raw. He makes sure everything remains raw. My nigga, bust the bus is killing him right now with this shit. Yeah. Well, got his album out right now. I gotta finish That's listening definitely. to that shit. And this track, yeah, you know, I, 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 I be, I've been this seeing mixed reviews out there, but I don't really listen to people until I give it my full attention. You know. Right. People, yeah, you know. Man, he's hardcore, man. People be following trends and then they want to down talk legends, you know what I'm saying? Like legend been doing this, legend been eating. So when I hit when I hear people down talking the album, it's like, you know, what's your creativity like? This guy nah, done hit- songs with Janet Jackson, he done did songs with Mariah Carey, he got endless. Yeah, he got he got he got boom bat, man. He boom bat, man. He can't front on busters. But you know, he gotta he gotta break the he he, he got to be some. His, he only pop because you know what I'm saying his production is other production, but it's only right, man. He got to he got to be one of the underground niggas that pop off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word up. And you know what the cool part about yeah, is, bro, is that Kent poet along with many others is showing that hip hop don't have no age limit at all. Yeah, oh no! As long as you nice with the balls and your and your choice of production, music has Oh no yeah, end. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't give a fuck about that age shit. But every time niggas try to say, "Yo, you too over to oh, you that's a cop out, nigga. You just a hating motherfucker." Yeah. <laughs> now if I was whack, I'm whack. But fuck it, I would, I'm like this. Dude, fuck it. Shut the fuck up, you old ass nigga. I wouldn't hear that shit. If you whack, you whack, man. That's it. But I don't feel I'm whack, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, that, we're going go back to some music. We're going to be playing this joint from him and Nas. Nas also dropped a dope-ass joint called um, King's Disease. So it's 2020 has been a great year for music. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. We got this exclusive, this old Buster shit. I don't know, niggas. Ain't too many niggas up on this Buster Nas joint right here. So, uh. Yeah, hit them with that Boston Nas exclusive, homie. So let them niggas hear that yeah, shit, man. This joint is called Rough Around the Edges, produced by High Tech. So you know there's going to be some flavor right here. So I'm going to play it right now. Yeah. Tap in. That I hollered at you for my blessings run out Before I kneel down and a choir would sing Almighty sprinkle holy water on me Please, I need your help with some things This puzzle complicated, Lord, it got me sick in the head I conversate with people who die like I speak with the dead Laying down with chicks with no feeling I sleep with the dead I fed a lot of people poison, now I eat with the dead Forgive me for the negative, I do when things that I set in order Taking for granted that my words are being recorded Cheat, lie, deceit, sold drugs and fucked on my mistress Forgive me for the company I kept and murders I witnessed Thus I never stole no snitch And always stayed on my grind Now all the folks that try to talk to me I'll pay them no mind The old timers they used to say The devil coming to get you Stay on that path Better hope that God is walking it with you I hope you're listening and you're hearing me clear I strive to never say your name in vain Or ever beg for mercy and fear Every money option minimal For feeding my fam Just trying to secure the food Minus the blood on my hands A couple young that follow what we do Shit is astounding You see the wicked in the eye And know the devil Devils around them until it's time I wait for your arrival. Stick with survival and continue to walk with your blessings, my gun and my Bible. Hope you forgive me, Lord. Iceberg on me up early, now what's the verdict? Uh, Press firing, paranoid people, curtains, hearing voices. Yo, church lady gave me holy water plus some stuff to smear ointments all over the skin. I hear it over again. Yo, yo, yo. Voices blowing the wind, yo, yo. telling me foes. 
coming for revenge. Giving me choices, there that voice goes again. No applause, no airtime, no need for the floor, so I don't care. Around no studio session needed to air mine. Hair lies a doodle, did it. I'm a fool at the pulpit, my jewelry dripping, my ooze slipping. I interrupt his eulogy, excuse me, y'all sipping something to soothe me. Talk about my dude, I miss him. Father's a pimp, his mom a Christian. Uh, laying there shivering, what's his religion? Mm, uh, the choir's a liar, songs they sing and are repulsive. Preacher man told it how it was, it went. Rub around the edges, in the edges stick way. It's coming straight ahead, go run into it and won't look out. Yeah, 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 screwball, screwball radio, man, that's where you're going to hear, you know what I'm saying, seldom heard joints, man, with Nas, Buster, niggas ain't really hear that shit, yo, I know niggas going to want to hear that again, ha, 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 but Jay, what's going on, man? Who's still there, man? Who's still there, man? Jay, nigga, I'm still here, nigga. I'm I'm the third co-host, nigga. What up? What, what time is it? <laughs> got me a fucking a, a fucking reunion out here, nigga. <laughs> I'm sitting in the hood right now. I'm smoking and drinking in the car. Okay, we got Bronze. I was like, I'll be right back. We got Bronze on the mobile patrol. He's the mobile yeah, patrol mobile right patrol, now. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Where the ball, man? What, what borough are you in, homie? What borough are you in right now? I'm in the hood, nigga. Like I'm in, um, I'm actually in Ravenswood right now and shit. Okay, man. we like, in Queens. You know, we in Queens somewhere, somewhere. Yeah, we in Queens. I'm, I'm down the block. <laughs> I'm up okay, the block. Okay. Whatever y'all want to call. Okay, okay. Yeah. Shout out to yeah, whole New York Jackson City, man. We, we, we got him back. Shout out to yeah, yeah. New York City, man. New York City, New York City. We need to come back, New York City. We got to stop being motherfucking followers, New York City. You know what I'm saying? Pretty There's much. a lot of followers out there. We leaders. Remember that, New York City. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Niggas be forgetting about that shit, man. We got to continue to lead the way, man. Get creative, man, yeah. New York City. You know what I'm saying? I hate getting on the radio or listening to on the radio or watching a video and seeing New York niggas trying to copy other niggas, man. That ain't how it goes. Following man. niggas. <laughs> Rainbow here. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, man. Like man. That. Come niggas on, really thought man. he was a gang member. Dumb shit like yeah. that. Yeah, we ain't do that, man. That niggas, shit, niggas. niggas follow us, man, but you know, I mean, some trends is, you know, trendy, but you know, you ain't know to get with something sometime, but don't forget your roots, man. Don't forget who you are, nigga. <laughs> yeah, Niggas man. out here trying to sound like they from Chicago. All type yeah, of shit, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I like that shit. Really I, that I respect shit. it, but, like, well, nigga, that's, that's where we fell off. That's why Boom Bap is the way it is right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to really search for the ill niggas with it. You know what I'm saying? It's not commercialized like this other shit because... The way we did it, nah. like, we was the originators of that shit, my nigga. The you reason why like, Boom Bap, like, the real another reason why Boom Bap ain't really getting the play and getting the love it's supposed to be, is because the Boom Bap producers can't produce the joints they want to produce, because uh, of sampling laws, man. It's a lot of sampling laws and shit like that. So labels, mm-hmm. don't wanna pay. labels don't want to get sued, so they rather have. The new dickhead that know how to use the fucking new computer beat shit over a nigga that's using records that's and make his beat. So they they don't give a that's fuck if that's too. not boom bap. They don't care. They like, oh, okay, we ain't got to pay for this beat. Who, who we got to pay for this beat? Who, who this guy? Okay, we just got to pay him. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. We pay. So we don't need premiere. Fuck premiere. We don't. <laughs> fuck Pete Rock. Fuck those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, so that's that's the problem because a lot of fucking producers can't produce the shit they want to produce. Like niggas like Premier, 
They can make that fucking shit, but they make that raw shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And they they that's they sound. So they can't get yeah, them new yeah. deals. They can't niggas can't go get them new deals. That new money, cause these niggas ain't signing mm-hmm. no that, that new. They can't do these new niggas albums unless the new niggas wanna take it back and pay that fucking uh whatever sampling clearance cost. Fee. That clearance fee, yeah, most uh-huh. niggas can use that, but niggas don't wanna do that. Uh-huh. A lot of niggas don't wanna go through that problem. Niggas don't wanna pay no sampling fees, man. But the big guys can do yeah, that. that should that should be bread. That should be bread. You know what's wack too is the fact that that all the new production sound the same. Like you know, like like when I was coming yeah, up for hip hop, you know, everybody. Yeah, yeah, everybody had their own sound. Like yo, this sound like T Rock, or this sound like Primo, or or this sound like Alchemist, mm-hmm. or this sound like Havoc. Now mm-hmm. it just it's just everybody trying to sound like a certain. A certain producer, like everybody's trying to make that same music or that same sound. Right now, right now, it ain't even no certain producer they jocking. It's a sound they jocking. Right now, they just jocking yeah. that sound. Yeah. It ain't even yeah. no certain producer no more. It's just a sound. Like niggas trying to master that low five sound. Right? Everybody want to get that low five sound popping now. Like, I mean, that yeah, I mean, but, it's, you know, it's dope, but you can't overdo that yeah. shit. Yeah, it was it was uh, the Griselda producer that came with that sound, though, you know. Uh, Derringer came with that sound, and then everybody trying to make a Griselda record. Like, let Griselda make Griselda records, you know what I mean? Like, don't make yeah, no sense. Yeah, but, you know, once, you got, once, once, once niggas see a fire started, niggas want to try to spark a flame off that, off that fire, you heard? So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, uh, how many how many times we get records from people across the seas and we be like, yo, this sound like Primo, you know, because they sat and they studied Primo to give you that sound, you know? Yeah, many times. I, 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 most of the time I tell niggas, man, don't try to focus on no particular producer. Do, be, do yeah. make your own fucking beats, man. I want to hear how you, your beats sound from you. Don't 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 give me no Primo sounding beat. I want to hear your uh-huh. beat, how, how you sound, nigga. Yeah, yeah. The whole part is they be biting the producer to the T, like, like Definitely. all the way down to the crib. I mean, that ain't that ain't nothing wrong with you know what I'm saying? Cause you know you came up listening to that nigga, so of course you gonna idolize him, yeah. but you know, flip, flip that shit up a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make that shit That's your style. Yeah, but what was around. dope is that you know, like you can hear Lost Pro. But Havoc ain't never made a beat that sound like Lars Pro, you know. Ain't nobody try to copy nobody when we was when you know back in the day. Havoc, you know, Havoc and, came up under a different cloth though, you know. Havoc, Havoc came up under my man, man. Niggas don't even know, man. My nigga MCT, man. Papa Mob, man. AKA Papa Mob, MCT, AKA Corrado. He's an old school nigga, right? And he showed Havoc how to search and find fucking breaks in the old records, man. Havoc used to be around me and him back in the days at his crib as a little dude, yo. So Havoc watched him and learned him how to how to find these old breaks in the records and shit uh, like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, wow. Havoc came up on the, on the old G nigga learned how to find, find them old records. So Havoc's a different story, man. <laughs> or uh, he came up listening to the old records of the old niggas. Very under- Yeah, but nobody. You know, like I like the RZA. 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 RZA is crazy. Nobody copied RZA style like that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody could really imitate RZA style. Like it's a thousand premier sounding motherfuckers. But ain't too many RZA sounding motherfuckers. They try, but they yeah, can't I, get it right. Yeah, RZA's like <laughs> extra original. <laughs> Niggas try, but they can't get it right, you said? So. Nah, they can't get it right, you know? <laughs> hey, hey, y'all, and y'all was crazy. Yeah, I was just watching when fucking Afro Samurai, yo. Afro when Samurai. Y'all know what that Rizzo nigga did, did when, when everybody tried to bite him? That nigga turned to a different character. He turned to Bobby Digital. He like, yo, he turned to a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was just watching Afro Samurai, man. He did the fucking soundtrack to that movie. You know that, right? That shit, that 
that shit, that, that yeah. soundtrack is dope. That move, that music in that shit is crazy, my nigga. RZA is crazy talented, man. Word up. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he definitely, like, uh... He, he figured out Cats was biting his style. He's like, all right, I'm going to put on this um, Zorro mask to turn to Bobby Digital. These niggas can't copy that. Yeah, niggas can't copy that shit. Riz, Riz is crazy. That nigga goes, Shazam! He turned to a different nigga on you. It's the... <clears throat> Word. Word, but... Here's another record I want to hit you guys with, man. We're going to take this thing far to the west, and it just dropped. It's from... Razkaz and Master Ace, and it's called Culture Vulture. Oh, yeah. All right, right. let's drop this. We're a little over schedule, but we're going to drop this next joint. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to drop this one here right quick. We want to get this record some burn because it's fire. Then after that, we're going to have our clothes out, and we're going to see y'all in the next go around. So here's Culture Vulture. And we'll be back. uh, For upcoming artists, you know, that there's so many artists out there, um, give us some tips of how you guys stay true and have been able to hone your craft and be as dope as you are. It's easy. Don't be a fuck man. I like how it's going down. With a savage crew, stick it to yourself. Ain't nobody as bad as you. But the truth is, you don't know what the booth is. I feel for you, Shaka Khan. You don't know where the roof is. You don't get it. The heights you reach in the astronomic. All the way up to a loop to loop till you have to vomit. Pass your comment. Your Twitter rant is a bit of chance. Doing things that I lie, these average spitters can't. You hard pressed to get a stamp of approval. I shall proceed if I get a chance to remove you. Sayonara, I got a flow you can try and borrow. Can't perfect you, get rejected and die in horror. You can cry tomorrow, but today is ours. We trying to rise and colonize like invading powers. You can say the towers will never be twins again. I run the town, the beach side of the winds again. Some say the 90s shit is better than the new shit. I just love good music. Do it for the culture. Do it for the culture. Unforgettable, uncut lyrical, unfucked winnable, line for line, unparalleled. When I pull off, spit at you. So with these top 50 lists, the critic do pitiful. Niggas ridicule greatness when you alive. It works with your images when you die. Hypocritical, has a Roman wearing a cross. I do it for my tribe, even if I took a loss. Real hip hop heads worldwide. I'm current, currently serving till Galactus arrive. No rapper survive. I love water and vaginas. Cause that is the vibe, the co-ed is how you're environment, homegrown. The bold circle above the feet, some dying bones. Do you explore our style, still our sound, and say the N-word when you think niggas ain't around? R&B soul singers got replaced with boy bands. Black female singers got Aguilera and Spears. I watch Super Bowl and Post Malone and selling beers. But it's black California made hits for more years. It's the shit is better than the new shit. Do it for the culture, Master Ace, Stap on the vocals, Raz Cash, High Tech on the bangers, yo, Tech, watch me gangsta baby shark, do it for the culture. Yes, yes, y'all. That's some fire yeah, right yeah. there. That's some fire right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. See? That's Screwball Radio coming in at y'all niggas, man. And we're going to keep hitting y'all niggas every fucking Saturday, yo. Nine o'clock sharp. Oh. On the dot. On the dot. And half of y'all is quarantined, so y'all ain't got no excuses. Y'all better tune in. Nah, nah, they going to get with it. They gonna get with it, bro. She gonna be out there wilding. Tommy gonna be out there wilding. I'm gonna be out there wilding. <laughs> niggas gonna get with it. You heard? We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna do what we gonna do. Scoop over here. I'm gonna hear that good music, man. 
You want to hear that raw and cut? This is where it's at. No doubt, man. No Every Saturday doubt. at 9 p.m. Y'all better pull up, man. We got we just tell you shout out Raz Cash. Put a fucking mask on out there, man, for real. I don't give a fuck, man, if you can't breathe, nigga. Put a fucking mask on, <laughs> yo. <laughs> better put a, better put a, I'm like this, y'all better put a tic-tac in y'all nostrils to get some air or something, because y'all niggas, y'all killing me <laughs> with this band thing. I mean, some niggas go with rock, they got rock. Word up. But yeah, man, but this was a fun episode, man. We're chopping it up with y'all. I'm, it's a, I'm appreciative of being a part of y'all movement and making this thing the conglomerate that it is. And I'm definitely looking forward to more shows and bringing on guests and pumping out good music, man. This is, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. I appreciate y'all for letting me in with open arms. Oh yeah, man. This, this is the beginning, man. This is the beginning, man, of many, many nights of wilding coming up. We just want niggas to tune in, Screwball Radio, every Saturday, non-sharp, word. You got something dope for them niggas to listen to on the way out? Oh, yeah. And you know, since uh, it's Halloween night, man, we're going we gonna to close it out with your joint here to scare these haters off, to scare the trolls off, because they be coming on your page fucking reckless, as well as mine. But since it's Halloween... <laughs> We're going we gonna to close this out with Black Kruger. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Let's get it, man. Oh. Screwball Radio. Let's go. That know we out with this one. We, hey, we out with this one. We're going to see y'all next Saturday night, 9 p.m. to Pacific. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. Where? Y'all tucked in. One, two, bro, it's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, bro, it cooks so quick. Seven, eight, don't stay up late. One, two, bro, it's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, bro, it cooks so quick. Seven, eight, don't stay up late. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you too. I don't even know you. But you know what you can do Walk around the city with the simi and the hoodie on Fuck one for Trayvon This is that napalm You got that Henny then you know what to do with it You got that loud then you know what to do with it What up New York? I'm spitting like a fool with it Where's that support? You gotta help the goon get it Oh I forgot that niggas riding dick too Loving all them fake niggas Matter of fact fuck you I do me I'm forever QB I'm forever screwball So it's fuck you all. What I gotta do to hear a nigga drop a bomb on it Get on superhero safe in the streets, the ground haunted Black poet, yo, I rip your heart out Nothing was given to me, I took the hard route What? One, two, bro, it's coming for you Three, four, better lock your door Five, six, bro, it comes so quick Seven, eight, don't stay up ways can I say I don't give a fuck get high live it up scheming while I'm twisting up I'm focusing on the state of this shit I can't believe y'all okay with this shit but I'ma slice and dice the mic like Kruger chop right through ya ace out loser hey yo Stu this shit's a banger hardcore beats and rhymes equals danger I don't care if they at the Grammys with they tight ass shirt on and spandex panties <laughs> Just don't call that shit rap, and it's not hip hop, I don't know what's that, I don't know what your silly ass might have thought, but I'm holding down a fort, drinking Henny by the court, too many battles I fought, too many lessons I taught, it's black poet motherfucker. What? Queen's Prince for life, motherfucker you know, Stu Banger, uh. Shout out to all the streets across America. Uh, all the ghouls, the goonets, the goblins, the goblets. Hell, let's get it. Uh,